home in Paris and it is time to go on a food tour. I have seen this video on YouTube and apparently it's the best food tour that you can get in Paris and all the comments said that the places that they went to are really really good. So we're going to go and try all of the food places and see if they're any good. Um, it's basically all around the Marais. <laughs> I might pronounce that wrong, so bear with my French pronunciation. Um, but I think we're going to start off, there's quite a good array, there's savoury, there's sweet, there's all sorts. So let's go and see what the Marais, Paris's best food tour, has on offer for us. first stop which apparently is the best jambon beurre in the whole of Paris and it's lunchtime so I'm ready for a little savoury a little savoury snack roll I wouldn't traditionally go for a ham sandwich actually that's a lie back in the day MS used to do this Wiltshire ham and mustard sandwich for a pound and that was my go-to <laughs> you like nice meats and cheeses you have to go here it's a little haven of salamis and hams and we asked for a jambon beurre and look at all these hams they said what ham would you like there was a choice of hams and then you could also ask for a choice of cheeses and you could have it in a baguette or you could just order the salami it was honestly such a great little hidden gem i don't know if it's hidden actually or if loads of people know about it but then they sliced up our ham prepared our sandwich and we had a wonderful time Okay, here we have the jambon beurre avec fromage. <laughs> this was so cool. It was like nothing like England. They literally were like, what ham do you want? As if there was a choice. So I'm gonna do a big old taste test. Good. That's really good. We got the wild garlic one. Mmm. That ham. Oh, and the cheese. Oh my goodness. It's like kind of it's not dry ham. No. It's so moist, but that is a definite win for me. That is so good. Thing is, that is really good. However, you could just go to the market and get yourself some ham, some cheese, and a good baguette, and it would still taste fantastic because French, French people know how to do meat and cheese. However, down the road, we've just finished our little sandwich. We are gonna go to a place where we can get a galette with salted butter, and apparently, it's really fantastic. Although, I don't know if it looks open. <gasps> no, it's closed. Is it? Yeah. This place. Oh, what does it say? That's a bit sad. Every Tuesday is closed, and would you believe it? It's a Tuesday. Fortunately, we seem to have really fluffed this one up and a lot of the places are closed on Tuesday and Wednesday. I just looked at all the places. Um, so take note from me, don't come on a Tuesday or a Wednesday um, because they're everywhere is closed. But we're gonna go to apparently a gorgeous little coffee shop down the road and get some fuel for a little walk to apparently a really like Paris's best known falafel, which I have seen so much and I've always wanted to try. made a little pit stop in Lazare um, and we've got a macaron because I'm doing a little TikTok where I compare the cheapest with the most expensive um, so I can put that on screen if you want. Let's do the ultimate Paris macaron taste test. We tried the cheapest macaron all the way to the most expensive so first we got the cheapest one which is one euro from McDonald's. They have lots of different flavours and they have a whole bakery section which actually looked pretty inviting. This was not bad at all. They're quite chewy and don't have the crisp outer shell and they kind of just all merge into one but flavour wise I didn't hate it. It tastes a bit like vanilla ice cream. Then we went for the next most expensive which was five euros and it was this big vanilla one. It's got a more crispy outer shell yeah. but flavour wise it tastes exactly like the McDonald's one. Really? Now our last macaron was eight euros fifty from this really cute place called Chez Bogato, and it had so many cute things and this whole box of macarons. Look at all these wonderful things. I went for the burger one. I was beyond underwhelmed by this, and it was not good at all. It was really crisp and hollow and didn't really have much happening, but it did have a good flavour of chocolate and raspberry. 
What one would you try? Making a little pit stop in here, which is the place that they said does amazing bread and croissants and things. So let's see what they've got. Oh, it does look good. What's that, a Cornish pasty? I've never seen something like that before. I think it might be a chasson au pomme. Oh, of course. It's got apple in it. This looks so fancy. Although sometimes the fancy places in Paris, you can just go to a good normal bakery, but this don't see. This is a really nice little shop. Look, it's got all little bits. A little mill. That's so cool, I love it. This place was awfully zen, and the woman working here was so flippin' lovely. She gave us a little free sample of those butter sugar cookies, which were really good, actually. These were all of the delights. Look at this sweet little Easter display, and this was the little biscuit that I got, which was yum. That was quite a spiritual encounter. I feel like I'd just been to a spa. It was so pleasant in there. What the it heck? It was a bread it spa. Was, yeah, it was a bread spa. It was zen. She was lovely. It gave us a little snack, a little biscuit, which was really good. What did you think of the biscuit? Um, Oh, he's not sure. Nice, but I didn't really like that kind of biscuit anyway. And then I thought this looked really interesting. This looks very different from a lot of the pan au that you see in England. So I thought it would be fun to try, but I'm going to try it when I get home because I want to focus on what we have at hand. But this is what it looks like. And that's the little bakery. The woman was so lovely. Um, sweet, she's, sweet little French she's very woman. Zen. Um, yeah, she was so zen. I felt like nothing would get her down, which is not the case for a lot of um, the people we've been served by. Okay. I'm gonna go pop into this little place called Pompolini, because I kept seeing it last time and I'm intrigued. Oh. Okay. I, I try. Here we go for the little Pompolini. We'll try those when we're back as well, because we're gonna go to the coffee shop. Not only is it a coffee shop, it also has this perfume and these little things which you can personalise. It was really cool. It was not like anything I've ever seen in England. I kind of want this. I think it was like a perfume balm or a lip balm and you get to make the case exactly as you want it. And it also had this little perfume bit which you could smell. It was so much fun. I really loved this place. It was honestly, you know we went to the, the, the bakery spa. That felt like a coffee spa and now we're walking to go and get the flaffle, which I'm so excited about, but it's so nice around here. You've got the park, cool little shops. I've had a great time. I love just walking around, seeing all the nibbly bits. Fact about me, if there's a sink in a shop, I'm gonna test it out. And Amber the stories always have a sink. And it's good because we've been in the city. We can wash our hands and this smells so good. This Sicilian sunrise, 10 out of 10. It's got this little coleslaw stuff and the falafels are all fresh. Really good. That was great. Now obviously earlier on we went to get the salted butter galettes but they weren't open and I was then craving like a crepe or something sweet after we've had our falafel. Now I won't lie, this was just somewhere that we could go because I really needed a wee and there were no toilets around. Um, but I got this salted butter and sugar crepe and it was really good but it wasn't like groundbreaking. I wouldn't say I'd rush there again. But it was really nice um, and the service was really good and it was delicious and the atmosphere was quite nice in there. We then walked past this shop which had so 
many cool little bits in it and this is where I got the burger macaroon from so I wouldn't be running back to get the pastries but it had lots of other fun stuff like fun baking stuff and party stuff and little cookie cutters so it was really really fun and I also bought a little stash of sweeties to try. And then we also went to Galleries Lafayette Food Hall, which is absolutely fantastic. You know me, I love a supermarket, I love a food hall, I just love seeing food that I wouldn't normally see in my day-to-day -day life. This had so many wonderful things, it has a load of different food places, and I cannot recommend enough, like you have to go and try it out, you really have to. It's the next morning, I'm in my PJs, because I just want to try this stuff okay, and I'm not here to just get showered and get ready for the sake of it. So do not mind my appearance. So I bought a few things. I am, um, we went into that really cool shop which was called Chez Bogato, which had some really nice little bits in. They had some fun French sweets and my fiance told me that this is a sweet and I didn't believe him. It looks like a soap. So it's like a clam, a little blue clam and it's got this bit. Um, which just looks really intriguing to me and some other bits which again I'm gonna I'll try those on TikTok um some apparently some more fun chick French sweets what else have we got in here so up first we have this from Pauline which apparently is amazing obviously it's the next day so I am gonna give them the benefit of the doubt and realize that this might be a bit dry but that just tastes like an English and I am giving it the benefit of the doubt there. Texturally, it's not got loads of lamination, but it also doesn't have the squidginess. I feel like you either take the approach of having really lovely lamination, and big aerated bubbles, or because you've got gone for a nice rich butter, it goes a bit squadgy, but it's kind of, it's kind of neither of those things, which is called polpellini. Um, and I don't actually know what these are. I'll put on the screen a little bit, fact, because I have no idea what they are. I looked in it in here in the box and it looks like there's only just one but what is that on the top and they were like i think they're almost shoe buns um and i saw it loads when i came last time so this one's a vanilla mm. Mm. that's really good a little bit too sweet i think the fondant on top but kind of that fondant is so good mm. that's actually really good and then he recommended the passion fruit one let's see what the passion fruit one apparently this is the best flavor the man on the shop said Wow, that is really punchy and really does taste like passion fruit. They're really fun and really good. I really like the texture, I like the flavour and they've lasted well considering I got them yesterday. They feel just as good as new. We are going to go to a few more places. Apparently there's this really good Mexican um, that I want to try and also I want to go to one of the food markets. I'm trying to see if there's like a food market like Borough Market here because obviously they have food markets like where they do fresh food and stuff but I wonder if there's any like street foodie type markets I feel like that could be really fun um so anyway I am having a lot of fun so far and I think the highlights would be that coffee shop that was so cool because it was so unique and like luxurious coffee and the jambon beurre oh that was fantastic